Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your Grub background image so you can change to anything you may want and make your operating system and computer a bit more your own. But before we can proceed any further into the video, I'd like to thank my channel member Mislav. They get early access to videos such as this one right here, as well as a little badge next to the name for both videos and live streams. And they get priority response to comments because they get sent, sent to my phone first. So why not join them and get access to this exclusive club? Anyway, let's get into the video. So you're probably wondering, why do I want my own image on my grub screen? Surely what I have is fine. It works, there's nothing wrong. Why should I do anything different? Well, that's the thing. Why should you? Why not? Why not make things, why not make changes? So let's go through the process of making changes. So first things first, we have our NeoFX. As you can tell, this system is up and running. It is the one that I actually use on my own system. This is my system. And there isn't any funky business here. You can tell the spot client, there's some Spotify in the background. If you've been a member of the channel for a while, you know, I've got this weird funky NeoFX thing. It shows Windows XP. It, this is, real world stuff. I'm doing it to my own system. And if I didn't believe in what I did, I wouldn't advise you do it. So let's make some changes. Now, when it comes to changing your grub background, there are a couple of things you need to do. You need to add a background line to your grub file or your grub config. And you need to do it with PNGs. Now you can use JPEGs if you want, but it's advised that you use PNGs. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a file. Now, uh, I have recently just found out that I can find it. It should be that one. I said it should be that one. It is not that one. However, if I open just open with image viewer. This is what my grub currently looks like. Looks like this. Not really much of a big deal at all. Just a basic looking grub. Now, if we also have a look at, say, this, for example, if I just bring it back, that's the same file again. Whoops. Ah, uh, yes. We look, oh, I've got to catch my brain up. I really do. So if we look at this, for example, this is what the Grub logo is. So we're going to change our grub file, our grub background, to this, believe it or not. And it is actually rather simple. So, first thing we want to do is we want to change the file name. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this, go to our documents, and then do create a new folder, grub image. I want to do IMG, but that will do. And then paste this here. Rename it to something simpler for our own knowledge. So just in this case, we grub. And then we're going to open a terminal here and grab the file path. So to do that, we're just going to do PWD. And as we can see here, it is just grub IM. Uh, IM. But what we're going to do is we're just going to change the file name so in this case just folder name even grub img and then open a new terminal pwd that is our grub direct that is the file name directory so what we now need to do is we need to edit our grub file so first things first i'm going to do a quick clear Neo fetch, just to confirm to you that it is indeed my own system I, that I'm doing this to. So we need to do vim etc default grub. Just realized I. Here we go. So we have our grub file. If you've watched the previous video, you will know here that I changed my OS Probo around so I can now see multiple operating systems. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add our 
desired file into the operating system. So what we need to do is we need to type grub underscore background equals and then the path to our file. In this case, it is home nick uh, documents documents help if I could spell grub image and then grub.png and that's it. That's all we need to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do control C right quick. Now what we need to do is we need to do sudo update grub. And here we go. Found background image. Found background and found background image, which means this has now indeed worked. So what we have to do is we have to restart our operating system and see the grub image. So what I'll do is I'll reboot it and I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can indeed see here, this is now working. So as you can indeed see, it does work. I uh, I find this hilarious. I really do. I, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to work, but it did, and I I love it. As you can see, it looks absolutely horrific. Oops, it looks horrific. It really does. But it is really just as simple as that. Once you've done it, you can change it as often or as infrequently as you like. But that is how you change it to show any image at all. The capability of Grub is limitless. And as long as you have a image that is compatible with Grub, with a file format that works, such as PNG, knock yourself out. I just wasn't expecting that to work, but that's the Grub logo on a Grub bootloader. So, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike. They both seem to work, even though you can only see one of them. And whenever you use Linux, do not panic. That's my job. Anyway, I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, good whatever it is, wherever you are. You have been amazing. Goodbye.